Passport to Wellbeing is an exciting new program being launched by the Canadian Hemophilia Society to empower people of all ages with bleeding disorders to improve their quality of life. C'est une belle initiative de la Société canadienne de l'hémophilie. Ce sont des choses qu'on on, on prend conscience sans savoir vraiment. My life's been so much easier since I learned to do my infusions myself at home. Um, it uh, takes me a few minutes rather than sitting for hours in an emergency room. Avec le traitement à domicile, ben les, les parents ont pu à se taper des, des, euh, des, des séjours à l'hôpital, ont pu à faire des allers-retours à l'hôpital, ne serait-ce que simplement pour aller chercher leurs produits. Alors ça, ça facilite la vie évidemment énormément de la famille. Before William, every time he had a bleed, it was you know, hesitate because he knew how long it would take to wait at the hospital, go there, it would be hours before he would come home. And so now it's like every time he, has, he feels a little like numbness in his hand or anywhere, his elbow or whatever, he tells me right away. And we're all, we all feel comfortable with that. So life is much, much better this way. The fact that they know how to treat the bleeding episode, they know also how to recognize signs and symptoms of bleeding. Uh, because home infusion is not only about learning to put a needle and inject the product, it's learning about what is hemophilia, how to recognize signs and symptoms, and how to react on it. I think one of the great things about home infusion is that uh, I don't have to explain to a doctor or a nurse in an emergency room that has no idea what von Willebrand's disease is, or that I as a woman can have von Willebrand's disease, a bleeding disorder. So I don't have to uh, explain or validate what my disease or my treatment is. I can just do it at home in a few minutes instead of going through that big ordeal and wasting my time. When you're at home treating yourself, you don't have all the services that are available in the hospital and one of those the important services you don't have is record keeping. The nice thing today is there's a lot of ways to keep these records. You can do it online, on the internet, uh, with your computer. Uh, today I actually prefer the Palm Pilot. Habituellement, on va demander est-ce que les patients apportent le journal de saignement ou envoient leur journal une fois par mois à la clinique pour qu'on puisse réviser et faire des ajustements. My role as data manager is to ensure and maintain patient confidentiality while only entering the necessary data using a specialized database system called CHARMS. This data collection is important to us so that we can maintain a close relationship with the patients as well as follow and assess the accurate and detailed information. There's a lot of good reasons to keep accurate records and accurate records includes the product number that you're using, the reason you took the infusion, keeping all that's really important when the hospital calls you to tell you what product they're looking for, you'll know right away whether you have it or not. And now, thanks to wireless technology and the internet, I can actually send them immediately. If I've got a problem I'm dealing with right then and there, I can just call up the clinic, they can take a look on their side at the computer, and together we can talk about the issue I'm facing and figure out how to resolve it from there. When I do sports, it's true Je vais maintenant dans des sports un petit peu moins violents que je pouvais aller euh, quand j'étais plus jeune. Mais euh, sachant que j'ai cette maladie-là, puis sachant que j'ai des traitements, euh, ça va beaucoup mieux. Parce que pour un hémophile, c'est surtout très important, je crois, de, 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 de connaître son corps, de pouvoir euh, avoir de l'équilibre, de, de se protéger finalement des, euh, des, euh, des, des contre-coups. I'm really happy to hear how active you are though, Justin, because it's really important just because you're a 12-year-old boy and... Hemophilia doesn't stop me. No, it shouldn't. L'exercice physique a eu vraiment une grande, grande importance dans, dans ma vie euh, depuis que je suis tout jeune. Quand j'étais tout jeune, c'était très important pour moi d'être euh, surtout comme les autres, euh, d'essayer de, de, faire, euh, de faire de l'activité comme mes amis. I love the fact that you're active. I think it's great because 
if you sat in front of your computer or your Nintendo all day, you'd get yeah, sort of weak and flabby. And then if you had a bleed in your knee or something, it would take you a long time to get better. But because you're active, your muscles are strong and flexible, you can recover much faster. When I commencé à faire du, euh, de l'entraînement en salle, j'ai été, je pense que j'ai eu une période de trois mois sans, sans faire, euh, sans faire de segment, mais vraiment aucun. Puis ça a été vraiment remarquable pour moi. Well, the, the biggest symptoms in hemophilia are uh, bleeding into the into the joints, and it's uh, excruciatingly painful. And so I live with pain. I, uh, it, it, it hurts to walk, and, and these are the results of, of many, many hemorrhages in, in the joints in the past. When you see the value of this, I know you'll want to be involved in the Passport to Wellbeing, attending educational workshops on home infusion and pain management so that you can get visas stamped in your passport on your journey to greater quality of life. Je suis très fiable, j'encourage tout le monde d'ailleurs à, à en faire partie, à se procurer leur passeport et puis à remplir le, leur, leur passeport de leur petit visa. Puis j'encourage tout le monde à le faire, je trouve ça, c'est une belle initiative.